A question of character. James Bond is a homicidal, mass-murdering secret agent. He is adept at using various weaponry. He is also adept at using them on you. James Bond has a license to kill. He is even reminded of this license. James Bond does not need a reminder. He knows he is going to kill. The only question is, how many? James Bond is a heartless sociopath that will continue to shoot a man gasping for their last breaths. Thank God he's on our side. James Bond is one of the most decorated secret intelligence service agents of MI6. However, his office co-workers do not care. They will consistently ridicule his compulsive vices and issues with either sexual or gambling addictions. They do not respect him. James Bond will then release his frustrations towards his enemy. You have the problem with roulette. You have the problem. James Bond will shoot you in the back. Before James Bond starts his mission, he must pose. When James Bond finishes the mission, he must pose. On the elevator, James Bond must pose. And within a cloud of deadly chemical gas, James Bond must pose. Slay for the camera chain. James Bond's smartwatch allows him to control anything from the weapons he uses to the mission status to even the music in his head. This is a man unhinged. You have the gambling problem. James Bond will sometimes tell the enemy to hold on while he does watch stuff. James Bond is sent to investigate underworld dealings involving chemical weaponry, world-ending satellite lasers named GoldenEye, and the Janus Crime Syndicate. He will meet with Agent 006, whose talents include shooting the wall and turning on his allies. Speaking of allies, James Bond's allies are complete idiot people that ironically offer intelligence while standing directly in the line of fire. James Bond will use the Draco. James Bond is issued the silenced PP7, allowing him to complete his mission in stealth. Or he can just use a tank. James Bond must remain cautious around the explosive battlefield. That is because of the highly volatile objects around him, such as explosive barrels, weapon caches, wooden boxes, and regular old dry and non-explosive cardboard. As amazing as James is, he will also fight extremely capable enemies, such as villains with silly sex names like Xenia on the top, or the innumerable amount of infantrymen rushing to their inexorable march of doom, but still, wow, that guy is really cool. Whatever, James can fight with two guns also. He'll go akimbo, James can go akimbo. James Bond is not above shooting enemies using the toilet, and then spinning around in celebration about dead toilet men. If James Bond is captured, he will use the power of his wits along with his special gadgets to escape. Or if he gets captured again, yeah, see, he's he tries his best. But when James is captured again, he has two choices a pistol, or his regular and fragile skin and bones hand. James will choose the hand, because this is no regular and fragile skin and bones hand. This hand is filled with judo. Judo chop, fall. Judo chop, chop, chop. Why aren't you falling? This is no regular and fragile skin and bones hand. Finally, the enemy falls after the vicious assault of angled skin flesh. James Bond is a bungee jumping, plane flying, boat driving agent of carnage that not only has to deal with saving the world, but as well, average work office bullies. But this is no average man. This is Bond, James Bond. Oh shit, he fell. You have the gambling problem! Next episode, Snake, Snake. Snake. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question of character. character.